So, Mr. Speaker, I, I, come, I come back to the vote on this bill. It is a limited vote, a vote to allow the Prime Minister to start the Article 50 process. It is not a vote on the outcome, nor is it a vote on the wider issues, which will fall to be voted on separately. But it is a vote to start the process. And Mr Speaker, I know there are some colleagues on the benches behind me who do not feel able to support this bill. I respect their views, just as I respect the views of constituents who feel the same way. I also understand and recognise the anxiety of so many in the 48 per cent who voted to remain about their future, their values and their identity. They did not vote themselves out of their own future, and their views matter as much now as they did on the 23rd of June last year. I hope the respectful approach that I have tried to adopt to colleagues and to the anxiety among the 48 per cent is reflected across the House, and that we will see a good deal less of the gloating from those who campaign to leave than we have seen in the past. It is our duty to accept and respect the outcome of the referendum, but we remain a European country with a shared history and shared values. And it is also our duty to fight for a new relationship with our EU partners that reflects our values, our commitment to internationalism and our commitment to an open and tolerant society.